Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about calcium deficiencies, okay? In a lot of the other videos I cover calcium excess, where a person has too much calcium. Um, in this video we're going to talk about what if you're deficient. Uh, first of all, I believe most people have enough calcium. Um, but there are certain situations that you can be deficient. And so let's talk about them. Um, number one, back pain and neck pain. If you have like chronic pain and you've tried everything, it could be you just need a little bit of calcium or bone pain or poor posture or muscle cramps, okay? Um, again, these could also be other things too like a potassium deficiency, magnesium deficiency, uh, joint pain. Um, so all of these could be a calcium deficiency. Um, it could come uh, from your diet. You're not consuming enough healthy foods that have um, calcium. Let's say, for example, you don't consume cheese because you're uh, allergic to milk, for example. Well, that could be one reason, but you might say, well, I'm getting my calcium from vegetables, right? Like spinach. Well, some of those vegetables have phytic acid, which prevents the absorption of calcium right there. So where are you going to get it? You can get it from nuts. And then on the other hand, you can have a problem with the parathyroid where it's hypoparathyroidism, which could also create a calcium deficiency as well. That's a little bit rare, but that could happen. Um, it could be that your medications are depleting your calcium as well. It could be you're consuming too much sugar, which depletes calcium. That's another reason. Or you're drinking too much coffee because caffeine depletes calcium. Um, or your stomach, it doesn't have enough acid to absorb the calcium mineral. So there's a lot of reasons why you can be deficient in calcium. But if you have some of the symptoms, you might want to try calcium orotate. Uh, make sure you also take it with magnesium because you don't ever want to take just calcium by itself. Um, so calcium and magnesium work together. But calcium orotate is a really good um, source of calcium because the orotate helps the calcium penetrate deep into the cells. All right? Thanks for watching. So if you don't have this book, you might want to check it out. It's entitled, It's Not Lose Weight to Get Healthy, It's Get Healthy to Lose the Weight. Healthy Ketosis and Intermittent Fasting. Check it out. I put a link down below.